As we've noted in the past, some celebrities disappear never to be found. Which famous explorer disappeared on his way to rescue other explorers? Let's take a look back at even more celebrities who disappeared forever. You know you can occasionally mistake a stranger for someone you know? Lord Lucan has your most embarrassing mix-up beat, because his mistake actually turned deadly. In 1974, the British nobleman tried to bludgeon his wife Victoria to death in her London home after she divorced him and won custody of their kids. Except Lucan didn't actually kill his wife. His wife was in a different darkened room. Lucan had just killed Sandra Rivet, his children's beloved nanny. The case was a media sensation in Britain thanks to Lucan's fame as an aristocrat and notorious reputation as a gambling cat. After the night of November 7, 1974, though, he became even more famous for disappearing. After murdering Rivet, Lucan vanished. As you can probably guess, he was never found. He was finally declared dead in 1999, but his son wasn't allowed to inherit his title until 2016, according to the BBC. There are, of course, many theories about what happened to Lucan. Some people think he drowned himself in New Haven Harbor, while others think he went into hiding in Africa and died around the turn of the millennium. There's even a theory that his rich friends pushed him to kill himself, then fed his body to tigers at one of the private zoos. Sandra Rivet's son, Neil Berriman, claims that Lucan is still alive and living as a Buddhist in Australia, but sadly, none of this has ever been confirmed. Hart Crane was a modernist poet in the mold of T.S. Eliot, and he eventually became a leading writer in the American poetry scene in the early 20th century. Sadly, despite his early career success, by 1932, Crane was gone without a trace. Crane's father, Clarence Arthur Crane, was a wealthy Ohio candy maker who had a difficult relationship with his poet's son. In April 1932, after the elder Crane died, the poet reportedly grew depressed, according to friends who spoke to the New York Times. After winning a prestigious Guggenheim Fellowship and relocating to Mexico to write an epic poem, Crane boarded an ocean liner headed back to New York. Along the way, he either jumped or fell into the Atlantic Ocean. The 32-year-old poet's body was never found, and he didn't leave a note to explain what had happened. After serving in the Royal Navy, Ian McIntosh turned the adventure, intrigue, and thrills of his military career into art and entertainment. He published a series of action novels in the 1960s and 1970s, then made the leap to television. In the UK, he's best known for military dramas like Warship and the spy series The Sandbaggers. After a successful TV career, though, McIntosh disappeared in what could have been a plot in one of his own spy adventures. On July 7, 1979, McIntosh was traveling in Alaska, flying a single-engine plane with his partner Susan and his friend Graham Barber. Shortly before 6 p.m., Barber sent a distress signal from the plane, and an air traffic controller called the Coast Guard for help. Sadly, the Coast Guard never found a trace of the plane, despite searching for days. McIntosh, his partner, and his pilot simply vanished. Patrick McDermott was a cameraman who was best known for his nine-year relationship with Grease star and pop singer Olivia Newton-John, and it was that relationship that led to widespread public interest when he vanished in 2005. According to The Telegraph, McDermott was on board a chartered fishing boat called the Freedom of California in June 2005, but didn't make it back with the ship. Philip Klein, a private investigator hired by Dateline to find the 48-year-old cameraman, theorized in 2009 that McDermott faked his death and vanished so he could cancel out substantial debts and allow his son to cash in on a $150,000 life insurance policy. Klein firmly believed that McDermott was alive, citing 17 credible reported sightings, many of them from Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, the last place McDermott was seen alive. According to the CBC, another investigation ruled that McDermott had likely drowned in the Pacific Ocean. However, in November 2017, the Australian tabloid New Idea published pictures of someone they claimed was McDermott, alive and well in Mexico. Eventually, though, another man came forward to claim he was the guy in the photos. So what happened to McDermott is still a mystery. As for Newton John, she simply had to make peace with not knowing what happened. Those are the things in life you have to accept and let go. Roald Amundsen was a legendary explorer famous for leading the first expedition to ever reach the South Pole way back in 1911. He was an experienced adventurer, well-versed in harsh climates, but even he disappeared without a trace during an attempted rescue of another expedition in 1928. Amundsen was on board a seaplane sent by the French Air Force in 1928 to rescue the survivors of a plane crash in the Arctic Circle. Unfortunately, the plane disappeared on its way to take part in the rescue mission. A final radio message came through 19 nautical miles from Bear Island at about 6.45 p.m on June 18th, and then it was never seen again. Hamilton, along with everyone else on board, was lost forever. He was 55 years old. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about historical mysteries are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.